What's going on, everybody? All right. Yesterday, I told you I'll tell you what the Capstone sold for at Bear Jackson. They sold VIN number one of the Toyota Tundra Capstone. And before we get into that, for all you few, few guys out there, please go check out TLG Systems. Uh, if you don't know, I have a second channel. It's called Pro 2 Andy, all one word. Um, and they sent out a Trigicon MRO on a Skylarks mount to uh, help that channel out. A uh, couple of active duty military just started a new business. So if you have any pew pew needs, please go check out TLG Systems. All right, so the capstone. And I wanna get into something real quick before I tell you exactly what it sold for. A lot of you probably seen this already if you watched Barrett Jackson last night. Um, but I had some people say that this would drive up the price of those trucks. That's not gonna be the case. Toyota sold this in a charity auction for their Paralympic um, charity. Now, you know, dealerships know that that's not gonna be the price of the truck. That's not gonna affect the price of the truck. All that proceeds went to uh, that charity. So 100% of the proceeds, there was no dealer cost, buyer cost, anything like that. 100% of that money went to that charity. Also, Dealers also know that the people that buy these trucks, it's a charity thing, so this is a tax write-off. Millionaires and billionaires need huge tax write-offs to be able, you know, not have to pay an absorbent amount of taxes. Uh, so they give money like this right here to buy this truck for, you know, X amount of dollars, whichever charity it is at the time or whatever vehicle it is at the time. And then that's a tax write off for them because it's a charitable cause. And a lot of these people, if you watch Barrett Jackson over the years, they don't even actually keep these vehicles. A lot of times they'll donate the X amount of dollars and then donate the truck back to be sold again. I watched Barrett Jackson one time where a charitable vehicle actually went back on the auction block like three or four times before the person that bought it ever kept the vehicle. They just kept on redoing it, redoing it, and building more money for that charity. And I actually have another video coming about the first Z06 Corvette sold last night for a crazy amount of money. But we're on the Capstone video right now. So what did the Capstone sell for at this charitable auction? $700,000. it smoked the TRD Pro. Um, but that is for VIN number one of the Capstone. So the very first one ever made, it'll have the hybrid V6 in it, of course. Um, twin turbo hybrid V6. But uh, th they sold that, and like I said, it went to the, uh, uh, the Paralympic charity that, that Toyota has. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, both those trucks went to that charity and I can't remember exactly what the TRD Pro sold for, like $350,000. So they, you know, raised essentially a million dollars or a little more for uh, for this charity, but $700,000 for this truck. Now my question to you guys is, we'll keep this video short, but my question is if you were a multi-millionaire and you had just bought the very first capstone truck that Toyota's ever gonna make, VIN number 001, would you drive it? The truck's never gonna be worth $700,000. It's never gonna be worth that. That's straight up a charitable contribution. You knew that going into it. You wasn't buying a vehicle that's ever gonna be worth that much money. So would you drive it? If I had that much money, I probably would. At least till the waste gate messed up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. Check out my second channel, Pro2 Andy, and stay tuned for that crazy amount of money that that first Z06 sold for. We'll see you next time.